<laughs> hey guys, sorry I'm late. Can we start over? <laughs> That's funny. I got to give credit to Sir Goodenough. That was his joke. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. Let me see. I need to do, I need to get chat back up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good times. Good times. Well, uh, good news is I'm actually going to work tomorrow <laughs> for for a little bit. We'll see. Make a little bit of money. That'll be good. But the other good news about that is I'm not working that much. I'll try and work as much as I can. But then uh, we'll stream tomorrow. We'll probably stream in the afternoon like this again. Um, and it is subject to change. I am on liver transplant call. So if there is a liver transplant, then I will do it. And so I, that would change things a bit. I don't know if we're doing anything like that, but I hope you get some fresh PPE. I should. I think we're doing fine for that here. Um, we're pretty good at stocking up stuff. I think we've got enough. At least they're making sure that the anesthesiologists have it because we are like all up in people's faces, you know, swapping spit. All right. How's everybody doing? Sorry about all that. That was fun. So good enough. That was a good joke. I like that. I'm back. Let's get started. <laughs> all right. Let's jump right in since we're already running behind. We've got some fun stuff to do. Did I shut the... I must have. Dag nabbit. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I bet we can find it. We are going to do... We are going to do actionable notifications for Android first. If we have time, if it kind of goes smooth and we can have time, we'll do iOS. If we don't have time, we'll do iOS. Maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow. I think this is really good. I think it's really, really good. So let's do, uh, I found, uh, Robbie's notes on how to do this and it was really good. And I was hoping that I had saved it, but apparently I had not. Home assistant. I was looking at them last night in the middle of the night. Oh, companion. That's the one. Okay. So here's, uh, here's this, but we're going to go to the, it's got a, uh, this home assistant companion. That's what we're calling it technically. So technically what's an Android Apple first. <laughs> we always do so much Apple stuff that I promised the Android folks we would do Android. And I actually have an Android phone that I bought to go to China with the pixel three a that I bought used. And, uh, so I have this pixel three here, uh, three, eight. And so I was figuring that would be a good one to start with. And I kind of started tinkering with it last night and I got, I at least got the basic notifications to work and then it was too late and I didn't keep going to do the actionable stuff. So we're going to do actionable stuff. Yeah. Starting late today. Yeah. Did you see what happened? Niles, we started on time ish. We started on like your normal, good European nighttime stream time. And then um, I got a work call that I had to take, and it took me like a half an hour. Oh, there we go. Download that. Make sure the devices are connected. To the oh, gosh, they're calling me again. Good grief. What's up? Going to smoothie? Heck yeah, dude. Okay. You making them? No, I'm not. You, you, how was your bike ride? Dawson just got in a crash. His bike's broken. <sighs> like, how bad of a crash? Like, what are you it, crashing into? He crashed into a tree down where we got to the pool thing. He Is he okay? Yeah, he's just a little scraped. Okay. Scraped. We'll fix his bike later. When, we, when we're when we done with stream, that, that'll be our project number one. Is fix Dawson's bike. Dang, what a day we're having. Okay, well. That work call was to say 
that one of the surgeries that we were going to do tomorrow is canceled. And that was the one I was going to do. So now I'm not working tomorrow. <laughs> Boy, these are crazy times, crazy times. Here we go again, right? Silence is not golden this time. Streaming again. Uh, received your stickers. Yes, Devil Incarnate. I am so happy to hear that. I'm going to get some other stickers in the mail here pretty soon because I know Fox gets some stickers and I know uh, Sir Goodenough. He should get a big pack of stickers, don't you think? And something extra special. Oh, and Guy's got his stickers. Awesome. Does the hospital just pay you regardless? Nope. Uh, how long can they pay people and not work? Yeah, that's the thing. They're, 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 the hospital doesn't pay me. I get paid through insurance companies when I actually do something. And that's the only time I get paid. So if I, even if I go to, if I go to the hospital and just wait and don't actually do a surgery, I don't get paid. Um, there, there, there was an article in our local news today about how our, um, I should do a 24 hour stream. Let's do it. Rock on. Actually I could, I was, I was awake at four o'clock in the morning. I mean, what do you guys want me to do? Like if I'm just, if I'm like here and not doing anything, should I just stream? Might as well. I don't know. Why not? I'd like to know how to put pictures in the notifications. That's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. Brendam, Brendam, Brendam. That's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. Um, there, anyways, I was saying about this uh, uh, article, and then we'll get on. But I'm squirreling around a little bit today, but, you know, excuse my squirrels. And then I'll get to go fix that bike. <laughs> I am going to use, uh, this is the A Power Mirror, and I'm going to try it. I haven't done it yet. Uh, make sure the devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Yeah, they are. They should be. And then Wi-Fi connection. Make sure the PC is Uh as I was saying, which I wasn't saying clearly, in our news, there was a big article that was saying, oh, oh, dang, Jim's later than me, so he wants to start over. All right. <laughs> we'll start over for Jim. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Happy Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Anyways, our big hospital system here in town, the one that I, where I work, uh, you know, they've got, gosh, I don't know, 20 different hospitals around town. And um, they... Uh, there was an article that they are, they announced or they said that they're going to decrease the pay of some uh, physicians and um, advanced practitioners like nurse practitioners, um, physician assistants and such starting in June. And there's all kinds of uproar and people are all upset. And I, I get it. I get that people are upset because you're the, the, on the surface, you look at it and go, oh, they're going to take these people who are the front lines and they're going to take their pay away. I don't think that's what they're doing. I mean, I don't know. The article didn't give any details about which people this is affecting. My guess is it's affecting people who are on a salary and are not working. And just like somebody said, I mean, how long can you pay somebody when they're not working, right? Those people are usually doing billable services. The health system is getting paid from an insurance company or whatever. And right now those people are, are, are being paid. They're not doing anything. And the health system is just saying, by June, we're going to have to decrease their pay, you know, assuming that they're still not going to be working. That seems reasonable. I mean, I'm not usually the one to be on the side of the health system. I'm usually the one to be on the side of the, of the people. Um, but I think that, I think that, that journalist, the person that wrote that article was just trying to get people mad, trying to get people hyped up. And I think they, they either didn't understand the actual situation or they just decided to ignore the actual situation so that they could have this sensational story about how this evil health system is cutting people's uh, salaries, you know, when they're on the front lines and doing all this work. And that's not really, I don't think the case. Anyways, we get 80% of our pay here in the UK while on lockdown. That's pretty nice. We don't see, we don't get jack. Like if I'm not working, I'm not getting jack. So I double appreciate everybody who's been subscribing on Twitch. That's fantastic. If you have your, your Twitch, uh, if you have an Amazon prime, uh, you get a free Twitch subscription which gives me a couple dollars a month if you use it on me, which I appreciate very much. All right, we got to do this thing. We got to go to this, uh, please run power mirror, then tap the mirror button. Uh, oh, er, 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 I did power mirror. Power mirror. It says make sure they're connected to the same Wi-Fi. Maybe they're not. Oh, maybe this one has to be connected to the Wi-Fi. I thought it would be. Wi-Fi. Huh. 
I also think with these though, you can, can you do this wired as well? Cause it doesn't, that screen doesn't look like this. Please run a power mirror app on your phone, then tap mirror button. Yeah, there ain't no mirror button on this. It says make sure they're connected to the same Wi-Fi, which they are. I don't know why it's not working, but we got other options. We're going to do it other ways. We're just going to do it like this. I'm going to point the dang webcam at it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 All right. Mr. Poller, thank you much. We're going to do some unicorns for you. It said USB connection top right. Oh, good. Yeah, USB connection. I knew it did. Okay, that we can do. I can totally manage USB connections. Dun, dun, dun. Thanks, guys, for finding the right stuff for me. Boop. Let's see what happens. Android not detected. Connect your phone to the PC via USB. Oh, pair this Android phone, I don't know how to use it really well. We're going to get there. We are going to do something good today, I promise. Doesn't seem to appreciate what I'm doing here for it. it says it's connected. More video documents. Mirror to PC. Dang it. Huh. Why is it not finding? Change the USB cable, switch to MTP on your Android. Ooh, that sounds that sounds complicated. Settings. Huh. Well, this is one of those things you should have figured out beforehand, smarty pants. Right? I'm not seeing Jack. Hmm. Well, there really isn't that much on the phone, I guess. But what we can see... Gosh, I really want this to freaking work. Does it still require SSL certificate and such? Maybe it does. Maybe that's what... Maybe that's why it's not working. You're missing subscription notices. I am so sorry I'm missing subscription notices. Let's do some of this. Boop, boop, boop. Tests in production. That's what I do. Test in production. Do I need another 30 minutes? <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy. Heavens to Betsy. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to do it like this. We're just going to stick this thing down here. And we're going to turn this. Oh! Man, I started this dang hot corners. And every time I put my mouse up in the upper right corner, my whole thing goes lockout. Craziness. All right. I have your stream on my other screen for the, uh, the other day when you got Hyperion working. Oh, fantastic, B BMO. I've got uh, everything sitting here still. I haven't gone back to that. I've been working on other things. Four Tracks is now following. I know Four Tracks. How you doing, buddy? We're going to blow something up for you. Whee! All right. So, numero uno, to get this running, this is going to be your, your best document. So we're going to take this document <laughs> and we're going to paste it here for everybody. And this I will put in the, all right, this I will put in the video description as well so that you can have it. All right, four tracks, subscribe too. I know what you're doing and thank you. That's on Twitch, I bet. I wish it gave me a difference. <laughs> are we going to do this in Node Red? Heck yeah, Alcatraz. Heck yeah, we are. We're going to do it. So what we're going to do first though, we're going to do testing. Well, I guess we could try and test it through Node Red. I want to test the service through Home Assistant. That's my default way of doing it. So we'll just do it on the service screen and we'll just test it there. But then we can make a um, an automation through Node Red. We can make one how much oh, much clearer on Twitch too. Oh, fantastic. I bet Twitch is not doing the same kinds of dumbing down the stream quality as YouTube is. We're back again. Hey Patrick. Yeah, we're back. Oh, I do I do need it. Emmanuel, I do need it. Somebody else did. Oh, Thomas is here. Hey, Thomas. Man, we could have used you the other day. 
Hey, all right. See why I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing a lot of these. I think. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing on Twitch. Um, yeah, Thomas. Uh, the other day was it yesterday, fellas, that we did um, the browser mod, and we had a good time with the browser mod. So thank you very very much. That was that thing's awesome. We had a good time playing with that. That was the first time I actually really got it working. I knew it existed, and I kind of knew what it did, but I never really played with it. Man, you guys are fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, sorry, Mr. That's okay. Hey, that's okay. But thanks for being here now, and just thanks for your work in general, you know? And if anybody has questions about those things, about the, um, I can't remember if we had any questions. Things we, things we didn't get working, I guess it was the media player. I, I tried to play... Um, I tried to play. Yeah, oh, you <laughs> it's on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, I tried to play music. I tried to get it to play music through the browser so that it would play music on the computer. And I can't remember if I got that working or not. I don't think I did. I get we got it working to play like MP3s, if I recall, but not um, not like stream Pandora or something. But it didn't matter. Won't do video. That's what it was. Which we were trying to do YouTube video. That's fine. And that's okay. Doesn't need to. Doesn't need to. It's great the way it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're fantastic. We appreciate so much what you do. Have I ever sent you stickers? If I have not sent you stickers, Thomas, please, please uh, put your address in this. And uh, I will send you a pack of stickers. Mostly home assistant stickers. A couple Dr. Z stickers. It's kind of vain of me, I know, but I, that's what I do. <laughs> the echo. <laughs> All right. So here we are on Android. And you're going to need to obviously install the Android app. That should not be a surprise. We're going to install the Android app. I'm trying to find my webcam. Oh, I got the button right here, dummy. Okay, that'll work, right? It's a little bit of a glare, but you know, you can see when notifications pop up, right? That'll work. Is this my green with my green cup? Oh, sweet. I didn't even notice. Mm. It's a smoothie. Mm. Tasty. Oh, we got your fingers. Oh, Steven, if you haven't won stickers yet, should we give Steven a chance? Should we let Steven have some stickers? Steven has been around, been helpful. All right. Violent Poo subscribe too. Oh my gosh. You guys are fantastic. 31 people. Thank you. Whose phone did I steal? <laughs> uh, uh, the drink that clears the mind. All right. You guys are fantastic. Wow. Doing your, doing work on Twitch. Thank you guys so much. Can someone help me with your setup USB webcam for Home Assistant? Maybe, Jeff. I don't know too much about it, but maybe there's somebody here that, ha that can. Um, we can try to get to that at some point. This is, uh, we're going to do, uh, I, I, I'm going to try really hard to stay focused today. I know I'm not doing a good job huh? already, but I, I'm committed. <laughs> to doing this th today. So what we're going to do today is the Android uh, notifications from Home Assistant on my watch list today. Um, and this is a phone. This is a Pixel 3a. And here we go. Too bad sending so expensive to the USA. Otherwise, I would make you a mug. Oh, thank you, Milano. I appreciate it. The thought that it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Ooh. Let's look at that app. I might have to set this up for another time. Application provides a display of Android devices using on USB. It does not require any root access. Requirements, install, oh, run on Linux, Windows. Archive with all the dependencies available to install. Okay, that would take a couple steps and I would probably mess it up, but I will try it another time, all right? Because we're now we're gonna do this. Uh, now we're going to do this. We will we will um, be doing Android a little more often since I got this phone and I know people like it. Okay. So you got to install the, uh, you got to install Home Assistant on the Home Assistant Companion app, which is here. And then I don't think you have to do anything particular in the app configuration. I don't remember doing anything in particular. It does have to be version 1.2 or higher. I know you can't really see that and that's not the point so much. Um, I just want to be able to show this when the notifications pop up so we can enjoy it together when it works because it's going to work. So this is version 1.8. So I think it has to be above version 
and that's it. So now we can just go back to here, and it doesn't. The app doesn't have to be open. We can we can close the we can close the app here, close the phone. Okay, we're gonna go back to do this now. Robbie's got the steps right here at the beginning of this. The beginning of this is the easiest, like little steps to follow right here to get it working on Android, first of all. So you update the app on your Android phone. You do have to open it once. And, th and that's how it creates, it sort of has to connect to Home Assistant and that's how it creates its, its little entity. Then you have to do a restart of Home Assistant. All right. Once you've done that, then you will get a new notify service. Oh, you guys are so awesome with your with your following and subscribing. Thank you, thank you. Once you do this, uh, once you restart Home Assistant, then you'll get this notify, and then it'll say mobile app, and it will, and then will be the name of your of your device. So let's go to Home Assistant, and we're gonna look for my look through my devices, and we're gonna see this Pixel 3a. Stop me along the way here if anybody is already lost or already like, hey, that didn't work for me, okay? Example code for actionable notifications. Oh, good. Who wants it? I do. We'll keep that handy. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, the wind is blowing my... I like to have my window open, but the wind is blowing my door open and closed. All right. Riff Eric. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna be a lot of music today, guys. A lot of music. All these, all these awesome subscribers. Okay, we're gonna go to my list and get my developer tools states. I like doing it this way. I know there's the other way to do it now too. But getting an unable to register application. Oh, really? So Dale, when you're trying to install the Home Assistant Companion, you're getting unable to register application. I don't think any, I'm listening anyhow. <laughs> what is it we're talking about? Oh, you're talking about the screen, the screens, the screen share one. So there we are. Okay, here we are. Um, notify. Oh, services. You dummy. Yeah, it's a new service, not a device. So it's a service. And there it is, actually, because I was playing with it last night. So if you just do notify dot whatever, and then it will be under mobile app. So I've got the mobile app. The, the newest version of the mobile app is only installed on two devices. It's the Pixel 3a and then Dr. Z's, that's my regular phone. It's related to installing the integrations. Hmm. So I'm already, I'm confused why you guys would get this need mobile app integration. Oh, okay. Is that uh, something that needs to be in your configuration file maybe? That's not on his list of things here. Let's see what let's see what's in here that has to do with the mobile app. Anything? Oopsies. Wrong button. Um that's no, is it mobile? I don't remember having to put you get the same. Yeah, did you guys try a restart? Did you guys try so once you've so you try you're trying to install the app on Android and you can't even do that. Is that what's happening? If you really want to check this integration, configuration integrations, add mobile app. Okay, thank you, Violent Poo. Did you guys see that? So configuration, integrations. My connected device. Mobile app. Mobile app to set up the integration with Home Assistant. See the docs for a list of complete apps. Abort it. Is it not there? Make sure your um, 
maybe, well, that's a good question. What version of Android? I know mine just updated to like 10. Um, I don't know if there's a, we can go look at the uh, full documents here. This is, this companion app documents is fantastic. Okay. So if you are having any troubles, uh, the answers should be in here. If you can't find the answers here, you can try the Home Assistant Discord for, um, I think there's specific channels for that. We could also, we could also see, oh yeah, see there is. So if you go here, and, and this is the Home Assistant Discord channel, there are Android and iOS app channels. So we could even po we could even put in here if somebody is getting that error. What's the error you're getting? What does it say? Unable to register application. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm just going to ask the question for you. Why would someone get a... Oopsies. <laughs> I thought I copied it. Unable to register application error. Trying to install the Android. Companion app. Question mark. And I'm I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna at Robbie and see if he is around. This is Robbie. see all right check here what you got now you should reboot home assistant i don't need to but maybe others do oh there's robbie oh okay Sent you a message on Discord. Okay. Thank you, Mitch. What you got? Oh, cool. The code. Fantastic. Okay. We'll hold on to that as well. Okay. Did, so did anybody resolve that? I haven't um, added mobile app to config. Now it's working. Awesome. Okay, Dale. You guys, who figured that out for you? Somebody probably did that. Added mobile app to config file and rebooted home system and it works. Choo choo. Okay. That's funny. Do I have that in mind? I don't think I do. That's that's funny. No. No. You added mobile app to your config and now it's working. Hey. Whatever. Okay. Well, uh, we already solved it. Let's tell Robbie. <laughs> well, we'll let him we'll we'll see if some answers in that Discord. But okay, great. So if you have trouble getting the app installed, you need to add the, you need to add mobile underscore app colon to your configuration and then it will work. How about that? You won't have it doctor because you have the default config. Oh, okay. Okay. ALC knows how to do this. Fantastic. My config is dead old. So it's no wonder it didn't work at first. Oh, okay. So because I have default config, oh, here we go. 
you need to be running Home Assistant 0.95 or newer. The mobile apps require the following integrations enabled in your Home Assistant instance. Default config. Well, there you go. If for some reason you have disabled default config, make sure your configuration file contains at least mobile app and discovery. Isn't it amazing how reading the documents like works? <laughs> it's on my screen right there. <laughs> I figured it was there. I figured, you know. Thank you, Alc. I saw that. I got it. I got it. Appreciate it, amigo. Or oh, reading the comments would work too. <laughs> no, no, no. Reading the documents is the last resort. Okay. Well, that was fun. Now we're on. Let's get actually into the meat of this, shall we? Let's get to the meat and the meat is here and wait, docs and where is the, I want the, uh, not the setup. There's a whole section here on configuration. Where did it go? Here we go. Notifications. I think let's get right to, well, we can do a little bit of the introduction part. Honestly, the, just getting a basic notification could not be much easier. Here's how it goes. Zunicorn. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's, is that the, uh, my meat is in my sous vide. I don't know what that means, but I like it. It sounds cool. He was making time for us to ready the docs. <laughs> okay. Um, if you want to just do a simple notification, it is as simple as using the notify mobile app service. And after you have installed the application on your phone and restarted home assistant once you, well, you have to, in, you have to install it. You have to start the application on your phone. So it connects to home assistant and then you have to restart home assistant again. If you don't restart home assistant again, this will not show up. I did it last night. It didn't work. Once it, once you do, you should have this and it will identify the device right here. Once you've identified the device, it's doing something. This one's a, a bigger example than we need. So let's just do just get rid of all this stuff for now. And that's it. It's a message. You call the service and then watch the phone. Come on, baby. Don't make me a liar. There it is. Someone is at the front door. Oops. So getting the basics, just doing it, just sending a message. Let's send it again. Who dare? I don't know why it's not showing up on my lock screen. Oh, there it is. It's just really dark. I don't know how to turn up the brightness on this thing either. I'm such a fool with this. Oh, I keep swiping from the bottom. Maybe I need to swipe from the top. Whatever. Anyways, it's working. So there's my who dare. Okay. Great. You can very easily add a title. And the title can, the title will just be in big letters. Whatever, call service. There it shows up right there. New one, out of focus, completely, horribly out of focus. All right, Jose, thank you for subscribing. All right, so that's easy, that's simple, no big deal. Let's move on to the hard stuff. Oh, you can send a sound, that's cool. Message ding dong, push sound none, wait a minute. Oh, that's iOS, you gotta, you gotta be careful as you're reading through this, uh, the documentation for these, um, for the, app, for the uh, companion app, it, he goes back and forth between Apple and Android. So if you see the Apple, we're skipping Apple for now and we're doing Android. Uh, let's see. For Android users, you can easily replace the notification using the tag. Someone might be in the backyard. So just notify data title message tag tag. What does that do? I don't know what that does. I tried it. Have you guys tried it? Hmm. 
It just showed up again. I don't know. Gosh, were these things like falling asleep on me? What does Tag do? Anybody know? iOS is superior. Okay, here we go. This is the new app for Home Assistant. Yeah, uh, it's uh, been around a while now, but this is the companion app on Android, specifically Android. Just met a neighbor person in real life the other day. It was a pretty excited moment. Who uses Home Assistant? Fantastic. Uh, you do not need Nabucasa for this. That's correct. That is correct. You do not need Nab Nabucasa for this. All right. Thanks for following. I'm going to just do this peaceful little unicorn for a minute. Use the tag so I can clear the notification when I press dismiss on the actionable notifications. Okay. Tag is useful to replace notifications. All right. Remove notifications by sending a clear notification message. Okay. Instead of swiping it. All right. Sending notifications to multiple devices. There's an example there. We're going to get right into the how controlling notifications displayed when in the foreground. Presentation options, badge and alert. Notification color. Well, that's cool. Let's change that. Data, title, motion. All right. Uh, color. Let's do, let's do color. That looks cool. And we're looking for a string. We know what a string is now. I wish my screen was not so dim. How do you guys, how do you turn up the... I don't know how to turn it up on there. Anyways, let's call service. Oh, it's at the top. Oh, now the Home Assistant logo is red. See that? Cool, right? Cool, cool. Nabucasa is not needed as long as your instance is remotely accessed via SSL cert. Oh, okay. Do you, you do need HTTPS? What if you were doing VPN? Could you just be VPN and inside your home? Swipe down the top of the screen twice. For brightness. Oh, excellent. Thank you. I'm new to this little Android stuff. VPN would also work. I would suggest that. I would do uh, Android. I would do VPN with WireGuard. That's what I would do. Okay, sticky notifications. You can set whether to dismiss the notification upon selecting it or not. Setting sticky to true will keep the notification from being dismissed when the user selects it. Setting it to false, which is the default, will dismiss the notification upon selecting it. Okay, great. Click action. Here we go. Here we go. We want to click an action. This is it. Okay. Data, title, message, data. Now, oh, that's as simple as putting click action in there. Gosh, that's easier than it is in, on uh, iPhone. And then action when clicking the main notification. So this is, a, this is a, an Android action? What kind of actions can we have? Notification is selected. You can either navigate to a specific Lovelace view, which you can do with it with one of our camera views. You can have a web page open to any URL. If you plan to use a Lovelace view, the format would be Lovelace slash test, where test is replaced by your defined path in the defined view. Default behavior is just to open the Home Assistant app. Okay, so click action in this case. There, I think there's going to be more click actions, hopefully. I think there's going to be more click actions. But so far, you can either do a like a website like Google, or we can do a Lovelace view, right? Slash Lovelace. Slash, and then the view path. Let's just pick one. Uh, we'll pick uh, zero. Well, uh, that'll take me. That's, uh, let's pick one of the camera ones. One of my camera ones, which are way out here. Like, I don't remember which ones they are. Like 15. That seems fine. Okay, here we go. All right, there it is. When I select it, nothing happened. There we go. Gosh. No, that's not it. Let's try that again. I don't know how notifications show up here so much. That's the problem. Okay, this is the one I just did. That one had, should have a different click action. It did not. Oh, is it because this is not in quotes? No, that's probably not right. I got a whole bunch of these showing up. Nope. 
Let's try, let's go here and let's make sure we're gonna get the right view. I'll go here to 13. Let's try 13. I wonder why it's not working. You can start an automation from click action. Oh, you can? Well, it, he had it as click action. I have click action. I've got it the same way he does. I think that, no, I don't think you need to take out the capital A because his, his A is capital. Put the whole path in quotes. Oh yeah, put the whole path in quotes. Dummy. Thank you. But that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this together. That's why we're doing this together. We're going to do the nodes too. So it's just bunching all these notifications together. Yeah. What the? I want to clear all these. So I want that one specifically. This is the one that should take us to the different view. And it's not. Okay, well let's try let's try manuals. The whole URL in a single quote. Yeah, that's what I did. It keeps just putting all these together. No, nope, it's just going to the default view every time. So instead of Lovelace. Uh, let's try front door. Front door camera seems to be down for the moment. Oh, look at that mess. Let's try hallway. I don't know why this, I have to go in here and do this to get these. Pick. Come on, you stinker. No, I'm not doing it. What am I missing, guys? What am I missing? HTTP in the path? I don't think so. Lovelace, where place by your defined path in the defined view. Hmm. Clear out your notifications. Like that. They don't show up on the front. How do you get them to show up better on the front page? Like when this thing's off, it's already so dim, right? And I've tried to turn it up a little bit, but it's pretty dim. And then when I do click this, there it is. And I have to do this to get it to open. Oh man, that's a bummer. Let's try, let's try going to a website. I don't want to go to, okay. Okay, there's a new notification. Oh, okay, open links. Now we've got this. Oops, I hit Firefox. Always. All right, so now that notification is going to be, let's clear that guy. Oh my gosh. I gotta figure out how to use this freaking phone. Okay, call that service. There's a notification. All it did for notification was just give me a little thing up here at the top. Maybe I need to set my notifications differently. Up there, come on, stinker. Ah! There. And then it will take you to Google. Okay, that's that. I get, I mean, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna be Lovelace like this. That ain't gonna work. Yeah, that's not because it's not going HTTPS. That's not what we're doing. Oh my gosh, it's killing me. Don't tap. <laughs> you don't need the whole URL. Right. That would be silly, right? You're missing one data level. Action, data, data, click action. Do you think so? Well, no, because the title and the message are in the same. The title and the message are lined up the same. Title, message, data. Title, message, data. Click action. Click action. And it works for 
Looks like my grandma using Android. <laughs> single quotes, single quotes or double quotes don't, don't matter, right? Uh, I tried that. Let's see. Oh my gosh. And then why doesn't it even. Okay, there we go. Swipe. All that did was dismiss it. Let's try it again. Swipe it that way. No. <laughs> Just tap it. I do look like somebody's grandma trying to use this. Okay, I have to do that and then I have to open it. It's just going to the default view every time. There is data in data. Well, but this is the data though. So this is the data. We can try that, but this is already the data for the service. You can try it. No, see, failed to call the service. So this data is already implied here. When you use this, when you're using this, uh, the service call box like this. Yeah. You, you, your eye action, you are eye action. Let's try, uh, Emmanuel is your, uh, which one was yours? I got two. I got a couple people sent me. Was this yours? Was this the flow? Let's try this. We're going to try it in node red for a minute. What do you think? This is the struggle bus. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Do a new page here. And then can, I can't just paste all that in there, can I? Download all this. Put it on the desktop. Can you just drag and drop? Can't you have to import. You gotta do all this. Okay, here we go. Now let's see how this node red flow works. Accepted, rejected. What's going on in here? Is that just to test it? Own test? Whoa! Oh, it's because of the entities are gonna be different. Uh, I don't want to fix that right now. I don't want to fix that right now. Do you? I have iOS notifications in Node Red. Perhaps I would be easier to do it for Android there also. Node Red is cheating. <laughs> you are I okay, let's see. Action, you are I title C location map. Is it it's not that. Uh, every time with the lock screen. Hmm. You are I title. I think you may need to be on the beta version of the app. Really? I want this to work. I want this to work. So it worked when we put in a URL here. Why would this not work? Hmm. Hmm. The views are working here. Now the, work, the views are working on the cameras that are turned on. Not every camera is connecting today. 
What do you mean, Dr. Beaker? What's the full root? I want this Lovelace View part to work. Does anybody have this in YAML working? Na title, name the clickable? I don't understand. I don't understand. Mine is working. Yes, I have it working in YAML. Full URL. Okay. Somebody post it in. Oh, let's see. People are sending me stuff. Oh, okay. URI. That's weird. Okay, Zoltz. Thank you. That's what you're trying to say. I apologize. Action URI. Really? So, okay. Interesting. That is different. So maybe it is a different. There's somebody else sending here. Mitch is sending me stuff too. URI. Okay. Interesting. Service, notify, message. This is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a couple different examples here. So these examples, we should probably edit. The, should we edit that document? Should we put that in? You can send actions and click actions. The first data key is the actual text areas. I only have the basic notification working. Okay. How do we close this? No, just this part. All right. Um, data action. Uh, nope, that's not it. This is what we want. Message card part. Yes. Okay. So data click action. So I guess instead of action, I wanted the click action. Is who's, does anybody have the results have the click action working? No. So neither of you guys are using it as click action. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. Um, the click action part doesn't seem to want to do it. But we can do it this way. So under data, we can just do actions. And then we we're probably going to get to this anyways. And then the action is going to be URI. What does URI mean? I don't know what URI means. And then title. And then let's see the motion in the hallway. I know I, do, I don't have quotes. Do I need quotes? I guess quotes would be a fine thing to have. And then URI. Now we're going to go Lovelace quotes, Lovelace slash hallway. Okay. URI, a string of characters used to identify a resource on a computer network of which the best known type is web address or URL. Okay. Thank you. Well, there's something. Ooh, now there's a clickable button down there. <laughs> Come on, baby. You stinker. So those are all old notifications, though, too, probably. Let's do this again. Okay, so here's a new notifications. Motion in the hall. Yes, we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> My bad. I know nothing. All right, let's watch it. Let's do it again. Okay. What it did, you see how it says motion? It, I know it's hard to see. I apologize. Let's make this just a little bigger, bigger maybe. We'll scoot this over. We'll scoot that over. <laughs> make that a little bit bigger. You see how it's got this motion thing down here? Thank you, Emil. Let's, let's fix this video. Thanks for sticking with me through all this. You guys are awesome. You know it. Bigger video, we're going to turn off the white balance and we're going to stop this auto exposure crap. And that should be better. <laughs> Celebration! Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Mitch and everybody else. I know uh, Zoltz also sent me one that was the same. So you guys are awesome. Thank you for helping. Okay. Now here we go. Scrippy? What is this? One more time with Scrippy. Scrippy. What's Scrippy? You can also use service persistent notification create. 
It is a weird puzzle, isn't it? All right, so let's try this again. We call service, the notification shows up and there's a button down there. See that down below? No, you can't really see it. Okay, well then let's go in here. Notifications on Android are not as good. Okay, see how this, this you can see it here though. It does say motion in the hallway. You click that and it opens the view with the camera on it. I'm sure motion, I'm sure for internal notifications in Home Assistant. Thanks for sharing. I've been using the website on my mobile. This works great too, but the notification beats it. Scrappy is the program I sent earlier and share the Android screen. Oh, okay. Well, should we give it another try? Let's give it another try. Let's give the real Android thing a try. Cause this is sucking. Okay. We are going to take a minute and we're going to do this this. I just think installing it on Windows is going to kind of be a pain. We'll see. Windows for simplicity, pre-built archive with dependencies is available. I don't want to build the app manually, so we're going to download this. And we're going to put it... Oops. Oops. Oh gosh, what have I just done? Did I just move all my documents into my development config folder? Oh crap. <laughs> Stop. Go oh, close. Ah, everything's just going to crash now. Oh my heavens. <laughs> Yeehaw. Okay, where'd that go? All right, we're going to put it right here i love i love just seeing i can't see chat but out of the corner of my eye and i just see it just going and going and going everybody's like you fool <laughs> oh man okay so i downloaded that where'd it go did it not finish oh yeah here it is oh man see that looks so hard but okay. Put this in my other. Oh, screw it. Let's see. R P Y. I don't remember if I spelled it right. Scrappy. Oops. Nope. Right there. Now I'm going to go to that folder, right? And if I just click the E, can I just do this? No console. If I just do this, is that going to work? No. See, that's painful. Press any key, failed to see. I can't do that. I need something simpler. Plug in your phone and run it. Okay, phone's plugged in. Press any key. It went away. Team viewer. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Why my A power mirror with the USB connection is not working. Sorry, guys. See, and then it should just can it should see the device. It just doesn't. And I can try. Do I have a different cable? I don't think I do. Problem is, it's a. I don't have a lot of these. This is a USB-C. All right. I just don't have these. Sitting around. 
I was so ready. I was so prepared for this and we're getting nowhere. I can't even navigate around this phone. Tap to mirror. Searching. Don't update now. Okay. Done. Oh man, hallelujah. Exposing sensitive information during casting or recording. <laughs> Who cares about that? Oh, it was working for a second. Okay. Wow. All right, we're in business. Back with Power Mirror again. Don't show this. Wait, what's this? The Power Mirror can show the notification on your phone. Please enable notifications on your phone. Enable now. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's kind of important for what we're doing today, isn't it? Ooh, just the size of this thing. It's monstrous. Look how tall and skinny it is. Okay, we can get rid of this now. And we're going to put this. Okay. Put this over here. Good grief. That's what she said, but a bum. Anybody using action button on iPhone and Apple Watch. Team Viewer Quick Support app. Oh, upgrade. Oh, I don't want to upgrade right now. No, no. It's not going to let me not upgrade? Come on, stop it. What? What happened? It fell asleep? Oh, you're kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. It better not fall asleep every time. You're using an old version. Fine. Okay. Run it, connect it, give permission to capture. We did. Pity's sake. Ugh, grief. Could it get any more difficult? Wow. All right. We'll see how long that works. Change your screen timeout into battery settings. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know how to do the battery settings. It's not. I'm tapping it. Nothing's happening. What a pain. Anyways, that's the Android effect. Typical Apple user. <laughs> okay, settings, display, advanced to change screen timeout. I don't even know where to get to that. Down here twice. Screencast. Do not disturb. Settings. Display. Advanced. Screen timeout off there. 30 minutes. That should do it. God, thank you guys. Thank you. Can I get back to the main screen, please? Gosh, I'm exhausted. Am I, aren't I a doctor? Yeah, not a doctor of this stuff. That's for dang sure. <sighs> not swipe. Not <laughs> <sighs> okay, well. Now, we got that working. Thank you. Whiskers, you'll have to help me get that other one set up at some point. Okay. So we decided that this is working. All right. So I can go, I can click this. Oh, I can actually have my finger here. Can I? No, I can't. So there's motion in the hallway. I click on it and it's going to open up the Lovelace view for the hallway. Okay, great. 
So that is through the service mobile app with the name of the phone. And then we ended up having to put in action, URI, and then the Lovelace view. Okay, that works. That works. We could probably, with this URI, could I put in a local phone or a local video feed? Could you do that without a password or would it need a password? Probably would need a password, right? Would a password work if you passed it through there? I don't know. It, RTSP would work. You would need to have the password. Let me see. You can, uh, can you do that with a ring doorbell or nest? Hello. Um, we can try, let's try. I don't have either of those to try. It's relative to the home assistant URL. User password at the IP. Yeah. What if you're not at home? If you're not at home, you would have to have the, you would have to have an open port or something. Or could you do it through? Well, let's try this. Let's try this. I got an idea. Every, when you go to home assistant, we'll come back to it. When you go to home assistant, uh, the cameras do have a feed, right? You go to developers tools and states, I believe you, and you look at your cameras. You can find a camera like this. Okay. But let's look at everything over here because the camera right here, API camera proxy basement. Should we try that? I think we should. I think we should try that. Let's see if that will work. Can't hurt. Okay, we've got this. Oh. That did not work. Let's dismiss all these so we don't get keep getting confused. I can't get rid of that one. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, motion in the hallway. Pick that. Uh, unable to connect to home assistant. That's interesting. Let's try it again. No. Okay. That don't work. Don't try that. In the docs, you can do camera streams. Would need the token URL info. Okay. That would be kind of a pain. And those tokens change, don't they? Uh, just trying to think of another way to do this, but that's okay. Oh, you would need the token as well. Okay, let's try that then. So if we copy all this, that should work. And we're gonna put all that right there with this crazy token. And now we're gonna call the service. I'm sure I've revealed lots of secrets today. No, it doesn't like that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh well. Last try. No. Okay. Well, we tried. Uh, let's, let's, I think there's going to be better ways though. There are going to be better ways. So let's not do it that way. I changed my restart home assistant button to hold action instead of tap action. Yeah, good idea. I know. I know, Troy. Thanks. It is what it is now. Data stream source, yourstreamsource.com. Ooh, that looks really. All right, let's keep going through this. So we did get a Lovelace view at least to come up. So that's something, right? Let's go on to the next page. Sounds, I'm not as into sounds. You guys want to do sounds? I kind of don't care about sounds. I want to do pre-install notification sounds. I want to do... Uh, is that the only way to do action buttons? 
actionable notifications. This is what I want. This is what I want because I want a button that's going to like call a service. Sounds are dumb. Wake up the wife, right? I have my phone unmuted like 99% of the time anyways, even when I'm by myself. I know. I know. Silent Perkable. I know. Attachments. All right. Let's do, let's do actionable notifications. iOS is kind of a pain, but I have made it work. We're going to go down here to the Android. For Android, building automations for notification actions. For Android, you create the action directly in the automation action. That's so nice because in iOS, it's like separate parts. You have to make the action and then in the, then in the automation, you have to call the action and you have to make sure the names are just right and there's some capitals and some not and they don't use names like the, the key or this title part here is confusing sometimes. So iOS is, ugh. you do dynamic attachments for camera feed. Okay, Mark, good. That's, is that where we're getting? I think that's where we're going to get here in a minute. Send this example as well in the Discord chat. Oh, okay, excellent. I'm looking in the Discord chat here. Is it, did you put it in the live stream? Okay, here we go. Good morning, Bobby. How's it going? All right. Thanks for being here, my friend. You sent it private. Okay. Oh, to turn off the lights. Action. Oh, excellent. Okay. Sweet. Well, in this automation, let's look at his example here too. And we do have another example here from Mitch right here. Um, that is, here's, let's walk through this. Okay. Notification platform. So this is if a binary sensor for the front door, so I'm just beeped, uh, was front door was open. Then you want it to send you a message. And the message to say the front door was open and then the action would be to turn off the lights. And that's the button you would press. And then the trigger for a separate automation. So this isn't too different from the iOS. So now this is a second automation. And the second automation is using event and it's an action notification action, which in iOS is like action fired or something. Then it's, you're doing, and this is the name of the action, which is the same as this right here. Those two have to match. And then in the action, you're finally doing the service, which in this case would be turning off all the lights. <laughs> so if you, so you don't actually run this like this, do you? Like the front door comes on and you turn off all the lights when the front door is open. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I just that last oh yeah. No, I'm talking about somebody's automation here. It looked like they had it set up so that, well, they do have it set up. So it turns off all their lights if they press that button. Okay. Wife's calling. Got to go. Have a good day. See you later. Frisbee. Thanks for being here. Only when I forget when I go to work. Oh, is that what it's for? <laughs> We've had that. Certainly had that happen. Oh. Okay. The click action bug is fixed, but it's not released yet. Oh, okay. Oh, good. So the click action thing was a bug. So we were doing it right. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Sandro. Sandro, you, are you in the know on this a lot? Do you do a lot with this? I know we got Mitch and, and Zoltz and a few other guys here that, that certainly know what they're doing when it comes to this. And that's wonderful. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for helping out. All right, let's do it. Let's, let's send some actions. So we can't do it. We do have to write this as an automation. We can't do this all right here. So let's, let's build the parts, shall we? We're going to go here and here's all that's in my automations.yaml. And every time I need a new automation now, 
I need to just make a new automation in the file, in the folder, right? Okay, so we're gonna go to packages and, oh, nope, my automations folder is up here. Automations folder. Okay, uh, we'll call this, we'll make a new, we're gonna make a new folder and we're gonna call it, um, we're gonna call it phones or something like that. Why does it take so long to make a folder? Uh, I wanna call it notifications maybe? We'll call it action notifications. Okay, and then inside here, oh, let's make sure we're doing this right. And then inside there, we just need to make the file. All right, we're gonna make a new file and we're just gonna call it um, pixel action test dot yaml. And then we're gonna open it in VS code. Okay, now it's blank. So now we can write our automation. See, look how neat and tidy that is. Wait, what's happening here? <laughs> Did I bump my head? <laughs> oh, you just checked GitHub. Oh, cool. Well, thank you, Sandro. All right, Pinky Wafers here. Hey, Pinky, we, we missed you the other day. We were doing um, browser browser uh, mod. We were doing the browser mod. We did mention your video. I didn't put a link though. Should have done that. You can drop a link for it. Drop a link. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do an automation and I don't need to, it's already got the name, right? I can't, so I'm still new to this. So I still have to like make sure I know what I'm doing when it comes to how these work. Okay, so I just, oh, I start with the ID and go from there, okay. So we will give it an ID, whatever, pixel notification test stream. Okay, and then we'll get an alias. I don't think we need an alias, right? Because the alias is gonna be the name of the file. We're just gonna call it that. And then, okay, now we can start with the good stuff. Trigger. Just making sure this is all working. <laughs> Trigger is gonna be, what are we gonna make the trigger? Um, oh, good. Stream, not Steam, eh, it doesn't matter. I did it all different. Ooh. Let's do a, let's do a trigger that is uh, something, something like, I wish we could just do, like, I need like a binary sensor. Uh, um, I don't want to do an action. Oh man. Let's do uh well, I guess we could do I don't know. Drawing my artist. Depends on your hardware, I'd say. Notifications trigger. Is it the ID light? The magic cube. Okay. Oh, the magic cube didn't work so well last time, but we could we could do that. We could do the magic cube. Um I'm afraid it will start something else. Don't I have any buttons around here? Don't I just have buttons? Uh, let's do a trigger something simple like this. We'll turn my, we'll do a, we'll do a, a, a light turning on. Let, let's do this. We can do this. Cause then I can just, we're just going to copy this <laughs> because then I can just push that button on the fob or I can go into home assistant and do it. So lame. Why am I having such a hard time today? Just released tomorrow is beta day. Oh, right. Tomorrow is beta day. Okay. So that's a trigger. It doesn't matter what your trigger is. Your trigger is going to be switch, you know, button you press or motion detection, whatever. Now we're going to do the action. What do you guys use for your triggers? Let's think about what would you actually want to use for a trigger. Service. And then this will be the service, right? My service is gonna be my ID. 
which is back here. This guy. Okay. And then we need data. The data is going to be message. Uh, test action buttons. We're not going to bother with a title. And then data again. Trying to follow, but getting zero config error on reboot. Uh oh. Where where you, that's a home assistant problem, Nigel? Where are you getting that? Washing machine dryer. Use a web hook. How reliable are your web hooks? I'm always having trouble using Android notifications for new YouTube videos. Watch now button goes to the video slash stream in the YouTube app. Oh, that's awesome. Home assistant, huh? Zero config error. Uh, you're getting that. Give us some more info, Nigel. We'll help you get through it. Message data. Now, this is the important stuff, right? The actions. Actions. Okay. Why is my... Why is it not uh, doing my spacing and stuff right all right so then we're going to list each action separately the key you are sent from the event let's look at uh let's look at back in discord let's look at mitch's results examples too okay let's look at mitch's example of turning off everything <laughs> Uh, well, yes, we're, let's do it in Node Red. VS Code, stop doing that. It's very annoying. Yeah, that is annoying. Oh, yep, right there. Just action, not actions. So each one is an action, not actions. And then he's just got a name for it. So this is the name of the action. So we'll say, uh, we'll turn on the office lamp. Oh, I guess I don't need this. I can just make this office lamp. On. Okay, turn on the office lamp. And then it needs a title as well. Gosh, that is annoying. Turn on office lamp. Hey, baby, who's there? I love you. Dad's going long today because I got a late start. You don't know if spaces are allowed? Oh, for the action? Okay. Okay. And so that would be, that's the first thing. And I guess if we, we could make it do other things as well. Like let's make it turn off. Philip, we haven't had a good dance in a little while, Felipe, so thank you for subscribing. Mm, 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 mm. I love it. I love it. I love it. No buffer space available when your logs large enough for buffer size. Oh, there you go. Jorian's got it. No buffer space available in your logs. Enlarge your buffer size. Oh, that sounds like a big problem. Pinky Wafer says, check Discord. I am on it. Where is it at, Pinky? Is it did you send it to me directly? I don't have anything from you. Oh, there we go. Oh, sweet. Look what she got. That's awesome. Watch now. That's amazing. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Action works with spaces. Okay. So let's let's do it with spaces. Let's do it like this. We're going to mix them. Spaces and no spaces. Whoa. If you add actions, you'll have more buttons on the notification. That's what I was thinking. So we're going to add a second button. And the second button is going to be to turn off. If I could spell simple words, simple elementary school words, office lamp. And then we're going to give it a title. And we're going to say turn off the lamp. Just make it different. Okay, so that's one. Now... We need a new file 
for our other, for the second part of the automation, right? So creative, I know, right? I'm like, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. So that's saved. Now we're going to go back in here. We're going to make a new, another file. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we're going to make another file. I don't like doing it this way. I got to find a faster way to do this. I could probably just do it in VS Code, couldn't I? Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we're ready for our second second part. Duplicate. Oh, I could have done that. Copy paste. Could have done that. Control N. Could have done that. <laughs> it's a gift. I know. It's amazing. Messing around with different files, etc., is so lame. That's why I love Node Red. What, if anything, do you least do you like least about live chat? Check all that apply. Oh, are you doing? Are you guys also annoyed by that message? What message? Is there a message that says, if anything, what do you like least about live chat? Check all that apply. I don't know. <laughs> I hope everybody likes everything about live chat. All right, well, here we go. We're getting to this. We're getting to this message. We're getting into the goodies. This could have been such a great stream if I'd have been on task at the beginning. All right, back to Mitch. <laughs> Okay. Now we got to do the second part. This is the part that makes it so when you actually click the buttons, something happens. All right. So we need an alias. The alias is going to be test actions stream. We're going to give it an ID just so it's editable in the whatever, blah, 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 blah. And the comma won't work. Probably will, though. All right. Now, trigger. This is important. Platform is event. This is the same as iOS. Oop, right here, event type. I'm going to be very interested to see how this looks in Node Red. Very interested to see how this looks in Node Red. Okay, mobile app notification. I'm not going to try and... Get that right. We're going to copy that. And then event data. And now this action, I assume, needs to match this exactly. So we've got to go back here and grab this one. Copy that. Okay. And so that what that's saying is the trigger for this is pressing that button. That's what that says. Please copy and paste. <laughs> Node red is much easier. Is my config on GitHub? No, ma'am. No, it's not. It's a string. Well, it can be quotes or not quotes. It's okay. Uh, action. I like to, this helps me learn when I do it. Okay. Turn on, and then I need my, my ID. And I got to find this the correct entity here, so let's find the right one. I think I changed it to office dimmer. Um. 
I think it's gonna be it's gonna be one of these. Let's see. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's let's go here. We'll find it here. This is how we do it. Mm. Dimmer de oh dimmer desk. Dummy. This is the entity I want. See, it's one of these crazy ones. Whoa. Okay. And the reason it's crazy like that is because it's to you without being flashed at all. Time is money. Copy and paste. Time is money. Sorry, Leland. You're so right. Okay. And that's it for that one. Save that. And then we would need another one. That would be similar. So we're going to copy all this. We're going to do control N. Look how fast this is going to be. And we're going to paste it. Oh yeah. Text action stream off. And then this has to be different. And then this is now off. Is that what I called it? Back here. Right, I don't need that one anymore. Turn off office lamp. Turn off office lamp. Yep. So light. Now we're going to turn it off. Okay. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I haven't titled it. <laughs> Packages. Integrations. Oh. Oh, it's in automations. That's here. I don't even know where stuff is in my configuration now. Go action test. Actions. Yeah, this is tough. This is not this is not easy. I could so, totally see why people would have trouble. Okay. I think we've got that done. Let's check the configuration and then let's get to node red. My word. Let's check this, get to node red. Okay, what do you think? Actions aren't the same for turn off. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I actually did a little bit today. Thank you. All right, it worked. Restart. Here is that message. Oh. Oh, really? So you guys get that message a lot? I didn't know that, Tycho. So when you're watching, you get that message, huh? What does it say? What? If anything, do you like least about it? What do you guys say? What do you like least about it? I can't see it, maybe? There was a capital L in lamp. Ah, oh, son of a beast. Oh, no, it's okay. This is the action, right? Turn off office lamp. We should be good. Turn off office lamp. I think we're good because the capital L, this is just in the title. So that should be okay. I hope. Add a new automation to a newly formed folder. That's for some, for some form of splitting. Yeah. How long until we see the HA safe mode feature? We can call it testing. <laughs> we may see it right now. Let's see if this ever comes back up. Oh man. All right, let's start. I want to start poking around that node red. As soon as this comes back, we're going to test it. And then I'm going to, unable to connect to home system. Why? Oh, because it restarted. Mm -mm -mm. It's not back up yet. You could just, I can't just reload automation. Well, I, maybe I can now. I haven't been able to, but maybe I can now. That was a whole packages thing. I think you I think you're right. I'm pretty sure Frank said you can do that now. You could have switched the office switch by now like 500 times, Justin. You are so right. Till we see Deezer integration. What's Deezer? We need a crash count. <laughs> we do have the fail button. 
We haven't done the fail button today. Even though I haven't... This is not technically a fail yet. That's fun. It's back, it's back, it's back, it's back. Okay. Now we can... Uh, you know what we can do? Since I don't actually have that button for her. Let's just go here and let's just find the automation and just trigger it. And then let's bring up oh, our mirror. There's my address again if anybody needs it. Okay, so that's going to give us a notification. So we're going to find autom Autio. Oh gosh. Automation. And uh, what did it start with? Pixel? Pixel notification stream, this one. So we're just going to execute this. That way I don't have to actually skip. It doesn't really matter what the trigger was. What we care about is the actual action. So here we go. Nope, oh, there's an action. Oh, turn the lamp on. Yes! Turn the lamp off. Yes! We did it! We did it! The using streaming platform is actually available in most countries, unlike Spotify. Oh, cool. The Nook computer runs Poxmox. Thank you very much for filling in. Okay, so we, we did it. It worked. So there you go. So those are actionable notifications. Let's do this in Node Red. Let's do this in Node Red. So we got, we had a Node Red flow. And then I didn't save it. And we restarted. So I need it again. <laughs> Let's go back in here. And I got to figure out who sent me the Node Red flow. Mitch? No. Who sent me the Node Red flow? Oh, I had it here. I put it on my desktop so we can import it. Right? It's not on my desktop. It's this. Oh, it's going to have all those wrong IDs. Oh, dang. Uh, well, I guess we can look at it and we can just copy it, huh? Okay. That isn't going to work, is it? Okay, you guys are going to have to kind of hold my hand through this. Who's ready to hold my hand through this? It was me. It was me. Shouldn't be much to change. Okay. All right, Alcatraz, you ready? She's getting some tea ready now. Good night to you all. See you, Tycho. Have a good one. All right. I'm going to see what this is doing. Phone test. What is all this? I, it probably needs to be a different server, doesn't it? Yeah, because now I've got your server in here. It's called Home Assistant. I shouldn't need to name mine my own thing. Is that going to be everywhere? Yep. When I import somebody else's flows, it changes the server to their server. And I'm hoping that I'm selecting my server because since we all, they're all called Home Assistant Server. Oish. Okay, but it does look like it's connected, so that's good. How the Dutchies are going to bed, yeah. Okay, going to bed. See you, Jerrion. We'll get this done and then we'll, we'll, uh, I wanted to do the pictures, a little more pictures, so we'll have to pick up tomorrow. I'm not working, so we'll stream again tomorrow. What time do you guys want to stream? Let's do a little earlier tomorrow. I want to do a little bit earlier. Not everybody's going to bed. <laughs> Barry's with us to the bitter end, as bitter as it might be. All right, events, mobile app, action. action. Okay, so what if I, if I hit this? Let's see. We're going to go in here and see this. So mobile app. So Paul, that's I need to change that. And that needs to be the name of my pixel here. Pixel underscore oh, device tracker. Oh, this matters. Still just pixel 3a, right? Yeah. Pixel underscore 3a. Okay. That's what it's going to be. Mobile app pixel 3a. Think of that. Autofill. Okay. So that should get, that should be that. So it's going to notify the correct thing. What's this? Is this just a button? Okay. So if I just hit this,
No, I didn't do anything. Oh, I didn't deploy it, dummy. Gosh, that's so much better than restarting Home Assistant and stuff. So much better. I am on board with Node Red, guys. I am gonna. I am gonna do it. I am gonna. Okay, there it goes. We got it. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, we got it. Accept notification. Reject notification. Oops. I want, to see, I want to see it again. There it is. Accept notification. Reject notification. Uh, accepted. Rejected. What's this then doing? Oh, same thing. It's got to be pixel 3a. There. And this has to be pixel 3a. Okay. Uh, what else is this doing? Notify, you accepted the message. Okay, so it should just send me another message that says I accepted the message. Well, that's convenient. I am going to learn how to handle my notifications in Android someday. All right, let's try it again. Here we go. Deployed, testing. Boom, you see that little pop-up there? Here we go. Accept. Now we get another notification that says, yeah, you accepted. <laughs> okay. And then if we do it again, and there's another one, you rejected. It's going to say, boo. <laughs> I didn't really know it was going to say boo. All right. But then if you wanted to do something else, uh, right here, it just, you put the action in that you want edit call service node. So this call service node is this one, this particular one, the way that um, Alcatraz set it up for us, it is just calling another service, giving you another message, but you could just as easily change this to, um, instead of notify, we could change it to light and the, the service could be turned on. And then it would have to be, where is, which, where do I put the light? Oh, the data. Would the data be the entity ID? I would think that there would be a better way to do the entity ID. Okay, yeah. Turn the light on. I do have to put entity ID. Okay. Entity ID, and then it can just be that light that we've been playing with over here. Just do the same one. Is that going to work? What do you guys think? Is that going to work? Deploy. And let's try it again. There it is. Oh, wait. Must have messed something up. Mm. Just missed that. Let's try again. Can you see it? No, you cannot. Now you can. Test. There it is. If I hit accept, Mm, I would have expected it to turn on the light. So there's an error in here. I did something wrong. Uh, must be this is wrong. There's a box for entity. Oh, dummy. Yes, there is. She whiz. You mean that? You mean that box right there in front of my face? I'm glad that never happens. Now it still says API error. Is that because it's looking at the wrong home assistant? No. Hmm. Why do you suppose that's, do you suppose that's, uh, it auto fills too? Oh, hey, Rob, how's it going? I'm learning. I'm doing node red. I'm doing Android notifications too. It did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yes. Um, so we can, but now let's see, what did that look like when that came? Accept notification. So that was listing. That was a question. That was in there last time, and now it's gone. You rejected the message. Is it up here? Oh, yeah. So in here in the data, let's open this. Can I open this? How do I make this bigger? I know I, know I can. There it is. Great. So here's the um, the title. So in here I could say, turn the light on, right? 
And I'm going to leave this as accept and reject just so that they still match with the other ones. Turn off light. I like this. I like it. Okay. So that's this part. So this is kind of the same, right? There's two, there's two, they're not automations. There's two, whatever you want to call these. These aren't flows, right? What do you call these? The duchy, this duchy is still here. Lars is going till midnight, baby. All night long. All night. All right. So this one is now going to do two things. The accepted, we've got that turned on. Rejected, now we're going to change this again to light. And the service is going to be turn off. And the entity is going to be that. Oops, I don't have it pasted anymore. Uh, so let's go back and grab it because it's a stupid long name. Okay, there we go. And this doesn't matter anymore because this is a light entity now. So this data is only, that data was only relevant when it was a notify action. Now it's a different action, right? Okay. Now we got to turn this thing back off. This light is all up in my face. Boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, chat, for also teaching this. Have you guys been doing a good job in chat? Thank you very much. Node Red add-on does auto-completion in the ID, ID box. Yeah, it does. But the, um, I just was doing that because I didn't know this number, <laughs> right? Which reminds me, is it almost time for sign off, babies? Uh, um, they dropped off the thing that they were buying. Oh, good. The dollar thing. Oh, the dollar. Okay. Yeah. Just tell them thanks. You can leave it on the front door. I'll come get it. Yeah. I love you. It's like by the bridge. Okay. Okay. Yep, that's perfect. We're going to do sign off in a couple minutes, baby. Okay. Matheson, what's the point of this? Oh, what's the point? This is actionable notifications in Android. Matheson, this is actionable notifications in Android. It is so amazingly relevant. So you can get, so uh, for example, in this case, the trigger, let's go back to Node Red for a second. So right now the trigger is uh, just this, but if we wanted... I think we could do it with this, something like, let's do um, motion in the office. Make sure we got the right home assistant. I want to get rid of these other ones. Uh, edit. Oh, I can select the other ones and then delete them, right? I can do this. And then edit this and then delete it. and edit that, and then delete it. Now I only have one. Good. Uh, entity ID, let's do, I have a binary sensor that is a PIR in the office, like motion in the office. So let's do that. Office PIR. Dum -bum, dum -bum. And I'm gonna leave if state is on. Well, we'll do that. We'll say if the state is on, then it will turn it on. So then I'm going to do, so if the state is on, then it will give me that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is just crazy, right? Confirm deploy. Oh, what's this? Workspace contains some nodes that are not properly configured. Oh, whoa. How did that all get in there? Huh. That's interesting. It wasn't doing that before. Oh, is it did I did I delete the wrong one? Oh no, it's connected. No, it's okay. So now if there's motion in the office. Hi. Hi, motion in the office. Is it gonna work? No. No motion in the office. No motion in the office. Gotta do a dance. There we go. Motion in the office. Wait, that did show up, didn't it? Is that a new one? 
Yeah, that's a new one. There's two there now. There was only one before. Let's do it again. I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe not. Oh, it's probably going to just keep doing it now. Just move my chair around. Wiggle my booty. It's probably on some kind of cool down. There it goes. You got it. You see that? It just popped up. Yes. So anyways, that's the idea. Matheson, why isn't this turning off? Uh, come on. Did I not do something right? Hmm. Anyways, whatever. Turn the light off. <laughs> Add tag to get rid of the existing notifications. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't remember where we do that. Uh, 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 uh. So that's going to be in here, right? Or in here. Yeah, it'll be here. So where do we put that tags? So this looks very different, right? This is what more maybe what we're used to. The JSON and then where was that page? Oops. This was hard today. Anybody else feel like this was hard? I felt like this was hard. I felt like this was hard, but we did it. Uh, we did a good job. What the hell? Yeehaw. Uh, I remember tags. Tags goes. I'm trying to remember where tags goes, though. Tags is below actions. Okay. So it's in line with actions. So would it be... Uh, I'm trying to see how this works right here tag is this right <laughs> Any, is anything above your pay grade really Rob I don't think so I think you could do it in line with actions yes okay so tag and then Remember what this is supposed to look like, so we're just going to kind of be winging this a little bit here. It's got to go there, and then there, and then do we just do tag here again? Like that? What do you think? Tell me if that looks... Oh. Well, now, why is it like that? I don't want it all in one line. Because I did, I messed it up. Tag name. I don't think comma after brackets. I think I messed up. Shoot, I messed it up. Hey Ryan, how are you? Oh, JSON format? No, that's not doing it either. I messed up when I, I messed it up somehow. Oh, comma, after. Put a comma before tag. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, I mean that's total beginner stuff. This would be the this is the bad side, I guess the downside of of oh my air, air conditioning just came on. <laughs> oh good times, good times for having us a good time. Turn that off, turn that off. It probably really is 79 degrees in here. How was my family? We're doing fine, thank you. We're doing fine. Yay, Ben finally caught us live. Let's do something fun for Ben. Choo-choo trains. Yeah, so coming up with this part would be pretty difficult, right? No, I mean, Node Red's got some, it, it's great. I'm not putting it down. I'm just saying that I think sometimes what stops some of us would be putting together something like this. 
Can I, yes, I can set an automation to fix the AC on reboot. I need to do that. If it helps, try this. Ooh, online YAML tools converter. Oh, cool. Oh, you know, I've kind of seen these. Yeah. So if I write it in YAML, which I do understand a little better, then it will give me this over here. Okay. Yeah, that is helpful. Actually, I think it's funny. I think I've used this exact one. Oh, look, I have because it's bookmarked. <laughs> it's already bookmarked. <laughs> Save you the hassle of remembering. Yes. Share, 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 share. Oh, it's right there. It's already there. Oh, you want me to share this flow? Is that what you want? Let's see if it changed with the tags. Oh, that one was already there before. Let's, let's try it again. So the tag is, is that supposed to make it go away after something must be wrong with the turn off light button? Yeah, that ain't right. <laughs> ain't the right ID. It's this one. Okay, so I want to see if these go away. That was the point of the tag thing, right? Okay. Still there. What was tag supposed to do? It helps if you're comfortable with YAML and struggle with JSON side of things like many of us. Yeah. And that's true. That's me. I feel much better with YAML than I do with the other part. You must create a service calling a notification with the tag, clear tags. Okay. I've got a notification to let me know how many and which hacks components their updates for. Wow. How do you know what light is which with an entity ID like that? I know. Did you see how I found it, Matheson? The, the reason that I know is because I've got it in this uh, Lovelace here and because I found it before. So it's this one. But I do think, like, can't I, can I not override the entity ID? Clear notification, tag, tag. Okay. Tag allows you to overwrite a message or clear it. Okay. Yeah, I can. So let's do this. Let's change this entity ID to, I'm going to call it desk dimmer, even though it's called dimmer desk up there. And now this is, now this is messed up because it's looking for the wrong light because I changed the ID of that light and I can now change it to, all right, Bruno de Jesus. Thank you for subscribing. It's my favorite. Add sticky false inside data notifications won't be persistent. Oh, okay. Let's do that. I like that. I remember seeing that. That was like one of the first things we read. Just refresh and add the new ID. Yep. Done. Now, when we go back to node red, we go in here and this, we can now change to desk. I don't know how fast it updates. Not fast enough. Right. Okay. Oh, we were going to, in here, we were going to put, okay, let's go in here. And have I tried alert notification? No, I haven't. Yep, that's okay. Now you just broke all your automations. No, I don't have really anything with this desk dimmer on it. If I do, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Okay, Felipe, see you later. I want to do this sticky false inside the data. So here's data. Can I just put it at the top? That makes it easy for me. That's nice. Works straight away, but auto completion works on node red restart. Okay. All right. So we're going to clear that notification and then we're going to test this baby again. And we're going to turn on the light. Sweet. And the notification went away. 
So sticky false, that's really important when you're when you're doing it like I'm doing it and you're stinking sending these notifications every couple of minutes. Yes, yes, yes. Holy macaroni. Ooh, I'm beat. All right, fellas. Let's call it a day. That was fun. We did we did learn how to do some stuff, right? I think uh we need to I think we need to revisit this. Do you guys? I say we uh I say we do it again tomorrow. Post the flow, okay. You guys you guys down for doing something like this again tomorrow? Wish Fitbit supported more than one Fitbit in the home. Oh really? It only does once? Uh let's do this. Export. Copy to clipboard. Okay. I'm gonna copy it to the clipboard and then I'm gonna post it in Discord under the node red channel. There should be a node red channel. Thanks for your stickers. Oh good. Jenny got her stickers. You are very welcome. I'm glad they got there. Show in-app settings, helpful ones for tomorrow. Okay. Same tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Let's do some more. Node red needs a whole lot of attention from me. Doesn't it? You right, Ben. It does. So let's keep working on it. Tomorrow we're going to do some more node red and we're going to do, we're going to do some more. You want me to paste it there? I don't know if you'll get it. I'll try. It's going to be like, no, you can't paste that. You knucklehead. Yeah. It's not gonna let me paste all that. Um, and I don't want to paste it in the general. I could try pasting it here, but I don't think it's going to work here either. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm still going to paste it in node red in the node red uh, chat over here. Okay, there it is. What is all that? Failing with links? What have I just done? Okay. Hope this helps. Oh, hey, Blade. Was that today? Were you? Oh, that was earlier today. Oh, man. He'd have been so proud. Blade be so proud we're doing all this. All right. Let's get the kids up here for some sign off, shall we? Let's do that. I don't know how many of them are even home right now. Can look into the Discord, Red, or live stream channel. There you go. Always helpful information. Thank you, Eferer. Efer, I appreciate you guys being here. And thanks, everybody, that uh, pitched in a, a Twitch subscription today. That was fantastic. Ooh, Violent Pooh, what do you got for what do you got for straw poll today? 24-hour stream? No, <laughs> just a regular stream. Doesn't matter if he streams or not. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 24-hour stream tomorrow? Hey, is it just you, baby? It's my birthday. <laughs> Is the controller really bad? No, you know what, sir? Good enough. I don't think the controller is bad. I actually think, you know what's crazy? This is going to make me sound dumb, and that's okay. I don't mind being being sounded dumb. I think what happened was the battery just died. Because now every time we hook it up to, yep, every time we hook up the battery to any kind of a load, it go, it drops to six volts. It's We can measure it at 88 volts. Now, nominal should be 96, and high should be like 100 and something. So it's probably just got down to its lowest end voltage and it's got an over discharge uh, protection built into the BMS and so it's stopping us from discharging the battery any further. Isn't that crazy? Ah! I think that's what it is. Okay, so I haven't put it back together. The kids want to do sign off. We'll have to seriously talk about this 24 hour stream nonsense. <laughs> I would love to see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, dang. Okay. Hey, uh -oh. I'm all for it. I can do 24 hours. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can do 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're going to have to do some serious thinking about that. Oh man. Uh, okay. How, how do you guys want to sign off? Want to uh, sign off like... Like you're scared for your life? Like a tiger's chasing you? Like, like a, a tiger's chasing us. We're going to sign off yeah. like a tiger. Where do you come up with this stuff? I don't know. Just come we're going to we're gonna sign off like a tiger is chasing us. Ready? As always, thanks for watching. You guys are fantastic. I love doing this. Thanks for being here. We will see you tomorrow. I died from the tiger. 
I don't know about 24 hours, but we'll do something awesome for okay, sure. 